when I played, uh, I loved it. That's what I wanted to do. If that was for the national team, or it was for the first team, or it was for the second team, just to play the game. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Even just playing a, a friendly, uh, I still loved it because I loved playing football. Unfortunately, I can't play it on a higher level anymore, but I still play football because I love it. An icon for some of Europe's biggest clubs and his national team, Henrik Larsson is a hometown hero. For the former striker, playing for some of football's top managers was excellent preparation for a new life in coaching. I think that in order to lead, you have to be true. Uh, you have to have something that matches your personality. And uh, I couldn't uh, take everything straight from uh, O'Neill or from a Rijkaard or from uh, Ferguson. I have to take a little bit from everybody uh, to mold into something that fits my personality. And that's, yeah, that's what I'm working on day in, day out. Manager of Helsingborg in Sweden's top league since November 2014, Larsson has come full circle in the city he was born. The greatest player in the club's history is now their head coach. This club is where I got the chance to become a professional football player. So it means a lot to me because without this club and the people that was here then, I would have never had the chance to, to become one of the yeah, better goal scorers in the world. Helsingborg is a long way from a playing career that made Larsson one of the great strikers of his generation. At international level, a Sweden debut in 1993 took the prodigy to the World Cup a year later. To go there at 22, uh, the same year I was turning 23 in September, uh, was a fantastic experience. You dream of that when you're a kid. Uh, you want to score goals, you want to do something to leave a mark in a, in a big tournament. And I had the fortune uh, to do that, so it's, it's great. I scored against Bulgaria. Uh, to do that in, in, in a World Cup is, is quite nice. And it's a goal that is remembered. But I think that every goal you score as a striker uh, means something for you because it's Hopefully it's a, a decisive one or a, a nice goal, but I always used to say to my players that all the goals are, are nice goals. It doesn't matter if you put it in the top corner or it hits you on the way, it's a nice goal. Larsson would go on to star at two more World Cups, but it was in Scotland where he made the biggest impression. I think that everybody that knows of me, I think started to notice me during those seven years I was at uh, Celtic uh, because that's where I turned out uh, to become the player that I was. So I think that, yeah, that was probably footballing wise when I was at peak, at, uh, peak of my power, so to speak. It was with the boys that Larsson won the European Golden Shoe in 2001. At the time I wasn't that proud, I was just more happy. Uh, now when I finish playing and looking back what I achieved, uh, I can uh, smile a little bit more and be a little bit more proud uh, because it's no other Swedish player has done that. A season earlier, things felt quite different. A leg injury in Celtic's UEFA Cup tie in Lyon led to fears for Larsson's future. I don't think it changed my game, uh, but it make, made me understand even more what football means to me. How bad I wanted it when I played and how bad I needed it uh, and how badly I missed it. But it's something that is, is part of football. I mean, you, you're going to get your injuries and it's how you do the rehab, how you react to everything and how you bounce back. Uh, that is the important thing. Known for his goal scoring, today Larsson's enjoying the game from a different perspective in the dugout. The players that are out there the, on, the, on the training pitch, they got ambitions with the game. So what I'm trying to do is just to uh, get my experiences across to the players and try to, to get them to understand how, we want, how I want to play and, and what it uh, demands of you if you want to go abroad to, to play. Now we're trying to create something on the pitch, but at the moment we're in a, in a, in a tough period, but yeah, we will keep on fighting and trying to bring back this club where it belongs.
my legacy for Helsingborg has to be to get this this boat turned around again and start sailing in the direction we wanted to sail. And back where it all started, the Swedes guiding another generation of Larsons too. His son Jordan carrying on the family tradition. When I'm here at work, he's not my son, he's my player. And we made that clear from the beginning. But he's done all right, I mean, he's just turned 19. He's very clever, he's got a good head on his shoulders. Uh, so hopefully he can go on and uh, take the next step and let the name Larson shine again.